Carabao Cup has already served up some magical moments and the odd bit of defensive despair as well, and we're only at the round two stage. This is a match played amid squad uncertainties with both clubs active in the transfer market with incomings and outgoings. Both clubs looking to get back on track after defeating their respective divisions at the weekend. So who fancies a spot in round three then? We don't have long to wait to find out. Tommy Doyle poking it clear. Now the Burnley players have to get back as Daniel Prudence looks to create. Gonzalo Guedes. Three to look for in the middle. It's an easy claim in the end for Hadkit. He's in the mix here to help defend this from Sarabia. A teasing ball over and Traore was on the end of it. Just couldn't get the direction right. Yeah, it's a quality set play, isn't it, from Sarabia with his left foot. Playing it towards the far post. I just wonder with uh, Traore, could he do a little bit better? Just try and wrap his foot around the ball. It's Pedro Lima. Played in the Brazilian second tier last season. All right back. Here's Geddes up against Worrell. Feeding Pudence, who can hit them from there. And the save from Fladke, the first one was impressive. The second one was mightily so. Somehow managing to keep Burnley level. Well, two great stops, wasn't it, from Fladke? Once again, good combination between uh, Geddes and Pudence. Pudence, back for Doyle, who just got a little too much underneath it. Right idea once again from Wolves, though, who are starting to click into gear. Neat and tidy from Wolves to get out of trouble. Pudence now for Chiquinho. Into his stride and onto the target too. Fadke forced to deal with it. Nuri on the charge. Through he goes all the way. And the only person who could stop him was Hadke, who is proving vital for Burnley in these opening 25 minutes or so. You know, that is a terrific run, isn't it, from Aitnori? Very direct. You can see how he shifts that ball around Joe Worrell. Here goes Lima. Up against Humphreys, he's looking for Geddes! Fadke couldn't get there, and Wolves have their opener. Now the majority of the opportunities have come at that end of the field in this first half, and the hosts finally make one count. Well, look at this ball here from Craig Dawson. Plays it in behind Sambo. I see here Humphreys can't do anything about it. But the youngster has a little look up. He can see the movement of where Geddes is. He goes in behind Joe Worrell. Pladke comes out. He makes his decision. But by the time he gets there, I'm not quite sure why he went with his feet, the goalkeeper. Now Worrell. Antonji. Bruno stayed strong. And Wolves can get out here. And away they go. Geddes. Straight through on Hladke, that's delightful! He had so much time, and he used it so, so well. And he is proving to be the difference between these two sides tonight. Well, when this ball is played from Daniel Pedence into the path of Gredesh, I'm not quite sure where the Burnley defence were. They were four or five yards inside of the Wolves' half. 
And he's got an awful lot to do. He's got a lot of thought. What am I going to do? Am I going to take it round the goalkeeper? Am I going to go left? Am I going to go right? But that's a sign of a confident centre forward. And from Doyle. And it was Totti who made himself free, but couldn't find the target. And that's what happens. Sometimes the ball will go over somebody's head. And if, if the defender behind him is not being assertive and being brave and physical, as McNally wasn't there, that ball could end up in the back of the net. And Totti will be disappointed not to have hit the target. Roberts again. Finding room to run into. And just for a moment, Dan Bentley was a little bit concerned. Well, I think that's a little bit wider than what Conor Roberts is uh, saying to his fellow players. Pedro Lima again. Just couldn't find anyone from Wolves in the middle. Pedence takes it on. And it was very nearly very special. Ladke just about grew enough to keep it out. He's met by Fadke. And that's the final action. Round three beckons for Wolves. Round two safely navigated from Gary O'Neill's point of view. He knew that Burnley potentially represented a tough test tonight. And will be delighted to be in the hat for the next round of the competition, especially after their brutal defeat at the hands of Chelsea a few days ago. The home side rarely looked in danger in truth once they had the lead. And the tie was all but over once they got the second. A real lack of creativity or cutting edge from the visitors on display tonight. Salo Giddish, the match winner, with both goals for Wolves, both well taken, particularly the second one. He will be delighted to have got a run out for his side and to have bagged a brace at the same time. The Wolves will now wait to see who they face in round three of the Carabao Cup. The final score here at Molyneux. Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Burnley nil.